Dito po ang pasok yung sinasabi natin na skincare is a scam. Content creators promoting products online. Doc, bakit sabi sa TikTok ganito? Doc, bakit sabi sa ganito? Ganito. Not everything you see online is true. And yung iba dyan, sorry to say this, are clickbaity. They just really wanna get attention. They just really wanna get high engagement and high likes. Don't believe everything you see or watch online. Kaya lang naman sinasabi ni Doc yan para mag-consult na kami, para mag-bayad kami ng consultation fee. It's really not about that, honestly. Is skincare a scam? Before you jump into conclusions, let's have a detailed discussion about this in this video. So hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Gail and whether it's about dermatology or sharing a piece of my personal world, I'm here to bring knowledge and authenticity straight to you. In this video, we are going to examine the skincare industry a little more closely. Being a content creator, a dermatologist, and a consumer as well, we are going to focus on how you can make informed choices and decisions when it comes to skincare. So here, if you're wondering why I have my iPad in front of me, it's because sa sobrang dami kong gustong sabihin, I actually prepared an outline para may flow yung pag-uusapan natin today. Because I myself, I've fallen victim to a lot of skincare trends, yung mga nakikita natin online, on social media. Kasi nga sabi ko sa inyo, I'm not just a dermatologist. I'm also a content creator and I'm a consumer. Let's start with understanding skin care. What constitutes an effective skincare routine? And how do we as consumers effectively identify kung ano yung products na mag-work talaga sa skin natin? So, syempre, like what I always tell my patients and some of my followers, pinaka-importante is to first identify what your skin issues are. Kasi doon mo lang talaga malalaman kung ano yung mga bibilin mo. I remember before, some of my followers challenge nila ako. Doc, punta ka naman ng pharmacy. Tingnan mo yung mga products, tapos tulungan mo kami kung paano mag-identify na mga okay o hindi. So, syempre, I took on the challenge. I went to And oh my God, honestly guys, sobrang naiintindihan ko kung saan yung confusion nyo. Because even ako, I got so overwhelmed with all the available products out there. First, very important that you know what your skin issues are. Because when you do, medyo may idea ka na kung ano yung mga ingredients na kailangan mo. Number two, Look for active ingredients that will address your skin concerns. For example, kung may pigmentation ka man, then look for tyrosinase inhibitors. Kung ang problem is dry skin, look for emollients. And number three, go for a brand you trust. Kailangan itong brand na to does research, meron talaga siyang studies, and does not make exaggerated claims. Ito very, very important. And I know that all of you can relate to this kasi nga pinapanood nyo tong video ko, ba? So, the impact of social media on skincare choices. With all the social media platforms out there, we have YouTube, we have TikTok, we have Instagram. It's really, really overwhelming and even intimidating Diba, to be exposed to so much information. Meron ako mga pasyente pupunta sa akin, Dok, bakit sabi sa TikTok ganito? Dok, bakit sabi sa ganito, ganito? Honestly, even ako sometimes, naniniwala din ako sa mga napapanood ko online. But, you have to know that not everything you see, hear, or watch ay totoo. You have to take a step back sometimes and question. Sino ba yung nagsabi? Ano ba yung base ng sinabi? Totoo ba yung before and after photos? Kasi actually guys, my view on social media talaga, it's a good platform to educate consumers, to educate everyone. But it's also a platform to entertain, to grab attention, get attention, get a lot of followers, be popular. So kailangan dun mo tatroon yung sarili mo eh. Parang kagaya ngayon, kanina lang this morning, I got a lot of questions about a particular product that we give to patients. Tapos biglang may naglabas na content creator na unsafe daw siya, it causes this, causes that. So, syempre ako, parang for a moment, I kind of, oh my God, tama ba na binibigay ko sa mga pasyente? Baka nga ganito siya. But then, you know what? You take a step back and look at the evidence, look at the studies. There's a lot of fear-mongering out there. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Kaya nga ako, honestly, that's why I was encouraged to get online, make content, create videos. Because ito talaga yung kalaban natin. 
And it's not just in medicine. I mean, I am a content creator and a dermatologist who does information or who gives information rather and who does educational videos on skincare. But I must admit, in other fields, I'm not an expert and I rely on those people online to give me correct information. And I want to sort of really discuss this. Sobrang haba ng topic na to. But guys, please be discerning. Not everything you see online is true. And yung iba dyan, sorry to say this, are clickbaity. They just really want to get attention. They just really want to get high engagement and high likes. And it's up to you guys to sift through all the information kung totoo ba to o hindi. And I don't know if I should really be talking about this, but this question, tinanong to sa akin ilang beses eh. And I really didn't know how to address it, but I kind of thought about it. The question was about content creators promoting products online. Diba sometimes you see the content creators mentioning like products or ingredients and then sa baba may yellow basket, ganon. Nothing against that. Nothing against that at all. But yun na nga, again, as a consumer, it's hard-earned money. You don't want to be paying for something na hindi mo naman pala kailangan or hindi naman pala gagana sa mga problema mo. So be discerning and try to figure out which among the claims are just marketing and which among those are truth. And alam ko guys, mahirap siya. That's why, I don't know, I, I don't really have like a concrete solution for you. But what I'm saying is that, yun na nga, balik tayo dun sa don't believe everything you see, hear, or watch online. Which now brings us to my third point of the phenomenon of trying everything. And guys, honestly, ako, ganun din ako eh. Kasi di ba pag may nakita kang bagong product or bagong trend or I don't know, bagong skincare regimen, you kind of wanna try it kasi naho-FOMO ka. Okay, for example ako, honestly, I have so many of one product. Why? Because sometimes I'm scrolling through my feed, biglang, oh my God, favorite ko tong pinafollow ko na to, tapos meron siyang nilabas sa bagong product. Siyempre, parang ako, oh my gosh, I wanna try that. So I buy it. And then, na naman isa, may bago na naman siya, may bagong technology, bagong feature, whatever. I buy it again. And then, before I know it, I have 10 of the same products that I don't know which to use. Hindi ko na alam. So, I mean, kung marami kang pera, fine. And if you really wanna try it, fine. But guys, dito po ang pasok yung sinasabi natin na skincare is a scam. Because sometimes, nasa scam ka na sobrang dami mong binili na hindi mo naman pala talaga kailangan. And this is where you have to ask yourselves, do I really need this? Is this thing gonna really work for me? Is it going to address my skincare needs and concerns? Because, you know, mahirap din eh. It's not bad to have more than one sunscreen. Like, honestly, for example lang. Ah. Ako, I have a lot of cleansers, I have a lot of sunscreens, I have a lot of moisturizers. But you don't necessarily have to buy everything that you see online na bago or trending. Kasi, like I said, skincare is very personal. What might work for your favorite skincare influencer might not even work for you. So, yung conclusion ko lang, guys, is don't be tempted to try everything. Don't be tempted to buy everything that your favorite content creators or influencers are, you know, sharing or talking about online. And when it comes to skincare trends, sobrang dami talaga dyan. Meron dyan nagkasabi na exfoliate every day, meron naman twice a week, and then meron naman nagkasabi na parang it's not enough to exfoliate, kailangan you have retinoids in your skincare routine. And not only that, parang kulang pa rin yun, kailangan mo din daw mag-mask, kailangan mo mag, I don't know, like mga light, ganyan. And, and you, being a consumer who doesn't know really what, works or what doesn't work, bibilin mo lahat yun and itatry mo. So, yun, I think, doon ang gagaling yung belief that skincare is a scam. Kasi kung hindi mo talaga alam, kung talagang wala kang alam and nagre-rely ka lang talaga on what you see online, what your favorite content creators are seeing, what they're buying, you will really be tempted to try everything. And that's where being a discerning consumer comes in. And that's where I try to go in as well. Kasi, experience ko din yan eh. I mean, I am also a consumer of so many things. And your dilemma when it comes to skincare is my dilemma in other things. Kaya gusto ko talaga siyang pag-usapan. Actually, maybe I'm not as prepared as I thought I was kanina. Kasi now that we're talking about it, parang sobrang dami kong gusto sabihin. But I don't want to invalidate your experiences. I mean, like ako, I, I've tried so many things and it worked for me. But maybe because I know a little bit more about skin than you guys do. And that's what we're here for. So, you akin lang, when it comes to trends and trying things that you see online, don't forget to question. Don't forget to take a step back and really ask yourselves, 
Do I really need to buy this? Do I really need to put this on my skin? Ang dami kasi nagasabi. Kaya lang naman sinasabi niya, Dokken, para mag-consulta kami, para magbayad kami ng consultation fee. It's really not about that, honestly. I tell my patients, you know, if you had consulted in the first place, you would have saved yourself time, money, and effort. Kasi pag kinumpit mo lahat ng mga binili mong produkto dun sa problema mo, sobrang mas mahal pa yan sa consultation fee na dapat binayad mo sa dermatologist mo. And it doesn't even have to be me. You can go to any dermatologist near you. But honestly, being guided in making the right decision will save you a lot of time, money, and effort. Yun lang naman. It doesn't have to be me. I'm not encouraging consultation with me. It's not me. It's just consultation with an expert. Someone you trust, a doctor or dermatologist near you. But guys, consult. Kasi honestly, that's one of the best decisions you can do for your skin. Especially if you have a skincare problem. But guys, don't get me wrong. Ha? I have nothing against content creators. Being a content creator myself. And totoo naman, of course, who else will brand stop? Diba? Siyempre, kung sino yung visible online. Kung sino yung may following. But yun na nga, parang yung sa akin lang talaga is, don't just follow what we say, including myself. Ha? Itong sinasabi ko sa inyo, syempre kailangan. You have to take a step back and ask yourself, ano bang what's in it for Dr. Gail? Why is she talking about this? Is she here to scam us or here to educate us? Kasi I truly believe that genuine content creators have one goal in mind, and that is to educate and to spread correct information. Kasi ako ganun ako nag-start eh. Hindi ko naman alam na being a content creator will give me a lot of opportunities. I really didn't know that. My main reason for going online is really to educate, to share my knowledge, and to make it easier for those who don't have access to access correct information. So yun lang guys, just be discerning. Even with me, I'm not saying that everything I'm saying is correct, that you shouldn't believe everything I'm saying. Question me, and I will even appreciate that. So guys, balikan natin yung unang-unang tanong ko sa start ng video. Is skincare a scam? You know what? It can be, but it doesn't have to be. So guys, let's keep this conversation going. Please let me know all your thoughts. I would appreciate it if you contradict me, if you question me, if you even add to it or make comments, suggestions. Put them all in the comments below. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And always remember, your skin, your rules. See you guys again in the next video.